you've been through a lot of Battle of Alberta's. Uh, you know, what's this going to mean to you? You're used to the intensity of facing Edmonton. Yeah, I mean, it's it's a little bit different feelings in Alberta over there. Uh, when those games going on and had a playoff round against them. It was fun atmosphere, definitely. It was cool to be a part of it. You know, it's such a historical thing, like a rivalry in the NHL. So I think a little bit different on a little bit different side right now. What do you remember about the challenges of, of facing that team? They're good. They're a good team. They're here for a reason. Um, they have two of the, one of the best players in the world. So uh, I think they're pretty deep. They can play physical game, they play fast game, they play good rush game. So, I mean, it's there's definitely a lot to expect. I mean, it's a, it's a big challenge for our group, for sure. How different are you now than you were then in that series? Me? Yeah. Personally? As a player, yeah. Well, I mean, I grew. It's a different team. Not injured. So, that's good. Can you, there's one thing that you guys as a team can't do against the others. What is it? Turn the puck over. I think that's the main thing. They, I mean, that's their, that's their food to to eat. You know, like when teams turn in the puck over against them, they just jump on the rush. They're so super dangerous on the counter attacks, right? They're waiting for you. They're waiting for you to make a mistake, and they just explode because they have such a fast team and really good off the rush. And those players have uh, world class skill to make plays off the rush. Yeah. Is it nice to have a few days off before you get the series going on Wednesday? Yeah, I mean. Uh, we were watching the Dallas game yesterday, kind of expecting to play either Tuesday or Wednesday. It's, it's always nice for the body, you know, especially it was pretty physical defensive game against Nashville whole series. So I, I thought, like, you can uh, heal up a little bit for sure. Nikita, you've been here long enough to get a real appreciation of Quinn. And sometimes in a series, you have to do things that maybe you don't have to normally do. Like he was targeted against the Predators a lot, uh, but he still made key plays. So where was your level of appreciation for the game he brought in a very tough series? Yeah, I mean, he, I mean, we expected it, you know, like he's our best D-man, arguably the best player on our team. So, um, I mean, he's a, he's a tough boy, you know, it's, uh, he can handle it, you know, you took a couple hits, obviously. Um, it's a learning process through him, for him as well, you know, like it's a first real playoff series for him. So, uh, I mean, I thought he did really well. He uh, stepped in when he needed to, um, got us a players you know he playing 23 24 minutes a night he's been good we won the series so it's definitely big praise for him rick talked about the decor just anchoring the team especially with that veteran playoff experience how much pride do you take in the ability to have some of the younger guys lean on you yeah i mean we're enjoying that i mean uh, caller six years old he's been what 150 playoff games probably i don't know <laughs> so he's he's definitely one of the cool leads us up there you know he's been on the Two incredible teams, one Stanley Cups with Pittsburgh, and uh, Mice has been in the league for so long. You know, he played, uh, he played his first playoff series, what was it, 2010, 2011 with Buffalo. I was still in junior hockey in Russia, so it's, uh, it's definitely an interesting group. You know, uh, we just got to go up there and buy in like uh, they are, you know, like uh, the blocks that the blocks they were making, you know, the guys laying their kids on the line and all that so <laughs> it's always appreciated inside the team I think it's uh, it's definitely it was it was different emotions first round for sure I, I like I experienced before you know first round there's a lot of emotions there's a lot of running around hitting and everything sending the message guys are super emotional now it's kind of settles now it's back to business so I think second round is going to be a little bit different do you get that feeling in the room that that's the whole group is just a little more settled at this point? Yeah, you just you build confidence. I mean, obviously it's a it's a like I said, it's a f first uh, home game here in the cage. You know, everybody were exciting first actual playoff experience of the fans for this group of guys. You know, even Bess and Hoggy and uh, um, Petey, the guys who've been there for so long. So I think now it's like we're a little bit settled. We understand we're more. Uh, mature, we kind of learn something through, and we also build a lot of emotions, a lot of momentum. It's fun to win games, fun to win series, so we're in a good mood and exciting to play on Wednesday. What about the physical side of it? You mentioned before that, you know, starting around in the first round, you like to play a physical game, and, and really your whole decor does, other than maybe Quinn. When, when you get a team whose power play is that good, how difficult it is, is it to play as physical as you want? Well, I mean, you can play physical, stay inside the line. Physical is not just to hit people. Like physical, it's been hard in the puck. It's uh, hard box outs, hard in the corner, win battles. Uh, just 
just stay inside the rules, inside the whistle, you know, like don't, nothing after the whistle. Obviously, there's there's game inside the game. You got to play that. You got to win that because I think that's really important for momentum in the series. But like I said, like you can stay physical inside, and we've been doing a good job of that for sure. Mikita, how different do you think the flow of this series will be compared to what we saw? I'm not to take anything away from Nashville. I know they've blocked a lot of shots, but you're playing a different team with speed and skill. Can we see? Do you expect it to be a different pace series? I don't want to change our style based on the other team style because I think that's what they want. They want you to feel like things opening up and then you make mistake and they got to cost you. So I think that's definitely their style. And from my previous experience with Calgary, I thought that's where we kind of got burned in that series. You know, we kind of had a really defensive first, first, first round against Dallas. It wasn't many goals. It was a lot of defensive game. It was lots of physicality. And then we went play Edmonton and things opened up and guys got a little too exciting. And that's, that's their style. That's what they want you to do. So I think it's like even kill, you have to like, play the same way, you have to play smart, and we have to, I think like we've been watching a lot of videos the past two days, we have a good game plan for Wednesday for sure. Couple about, more, please. You've been talking about playing physical, you're a physical D, but was it a challenge to be physical against a good skater like McDavid? Well, I mean, just uh, be, be between him and the net all the time, so I think that's the main focus. Obviously, he's super dangerous after rush, he's super dangerous one-on-one, -on -one. so it's not only me, it's a five, five unit job on the ice, you know, to check him. To skate in front of him, to don't give him any room, you know, take the ice away. Like he's he's really good at creating the open ice, and then he can explode you with his power, with his skill. It's a world class player. I mean, one of the best in the world for a reason. So I think it's it's definitely expectation over there, but uh, we're excited for the challenge.